what so I'm... So I've been wanting to tell you guys about my food saver, uh, the thing that vacuum seals food for a long time, like five years. Um, so I'm sorry it took me so long. So my husband gave me my first food saver. Actually, it's my last food saver because it's the same one that I still have. But he gave it to me at our first Christmas when we were dating. And I remember specifically opening the box and saying, I, I opened it up and I was like, oh, we're not even married. Like, I think I almost started crying. I was so excited. I'm a little strange. So anytime I tell anyone, oh my gosh, I love my food saver. You guys need to get one. They're like, really? Isn't it a pain in the butt? Like, do you really use it? And I say, absolutely, I use it. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut to the chase here, and um, I'm going to show you how to use it. So when you vacuum seal raw meat like steak or chicken, um, you want to make sure and pat it dry with a paper towel. Um, and then if it's a really juicy piece of meat or chicken, you want to put a little bit of paper towel right, be like right at the edge to absorb the liquids because you don't want to ruin your machine with the liquids. But what I do is first I wrap set meat. This here is a piece of hanger steak that I rubbed with portini powder and then I wrapped it in plastic wrap loosely and I froze it overnight. What wrapping it overnight does is it allows you to vacuum seal it without worrying about all the extra juice and meat and blood and stuff like that. So the first thing that you do is you open your lid and you get out your little baggie and you measure out as much as you need. You're gonna want like, I think, I would say about four inches of extra room at the end. You would be doing a steak, which is a lot easier and uh, will not require you to waste so much of the baggie. So I'm gonna pull this out, but I have enough to put the thing in. So at this point you have a baggie that is open on both ends and you have to seal that. These bags have a soft, smooth side and sort of like a little bit of a in a rough side, I like to put the rough side up. So right here, there's a black line. It says sealing strip. It pretty much tells you it's a no-brainer. So I put this down on this black line. And I have to push this lever down to tighten it. At this point, your lights go on. You have speeds and the type of food. You have fast and normal and then moist and dry. You have the vacuum and seal button and the seal button. So I'm just gonna press the seal button. It's gonna turn red, it's gonna heat up and seal my bag's edge. The light turned off, it's ready. Flip the side up. Next, I'm gonna put my odd shaped piece of meat in here. Give yourself enough room on the counter. So I'm gonna stick this open end flap. Again, coarse side up, smooth side down. I'm gonna stick the end of the flap in this little channel that's here, it says vacuum channel, because that's where it's gonna suck the air out of the pouch. And then I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. I'm gonna close this guy, lock it, and then I like to hold whatever it is that I am vacuuming. So now I'm gonna click vacuum and seal. Lift up this lever, open this guy up, pull it off. It's heat sealed the end of the package and now I have this lovely vacuum sealed piece of weird steak. We can do up here is you can write um, the date and anything else you'd like to write, a love note to yourself for uh, reading months later. So let's say that you froze a soup um, like a month back or a few weeks back and you decided you don't know when you're gonna eat that soup again or drink that soup, so you wanna vacuum seal it. It's really simple at this point. So I released the soup from the container with a little hot water on the outside. 
And I stuck it in this pouch. So don't think that you're going to be limited to uh, vacuum sealing steaks and chicken. What if you're going on a canoe trip across the Atlantic Ocean and you need a pair of dry socks? Or you decided that you can't go swimming without your lucky reindeer ornament. 